You know, one of the more interesting things I find is that um, no matter how much you sort of build bridges and think about social capital and, you know, think about, like, building relationships and all of those particular things, um, the, no, no matter how much you actually do that, the, um, you still often feel like you're um, alone or isolated. And it's kind of an interesting phenomenon. So the reason why I'm talking about this is that I'm at an academic conference right now. Um, it's called the Academy of Management. It's the largest management conference that, that um, exists. So, um, <laughs> funny enough, as I was talking about that, I ran into somebody or a couple of people that I knew um, and wanted to chat with them. So I'm at the Academy of Management. It's a large conference. And I've always felt isolated um, at, at this conference. And yet the role is to create a lot of community and um, ensure that you're... Um, that you have togetherness. It's just, it's an interesting phenomenon. And even if you are in, um, you know, in a family and, um, you know, you're in a family setting, you still have the sort of same feelings. Uh, And I don't exactly, I'm assuming that there's probably academic research on this. Um, However, you know, I don't know of it. But it's just an interesting phenomenon in that no matter how much you build relationships um, and focus on creating um, situations where you can have these bonds, you know, even in a family setting where you're around everybody um, a lot, it's still difficult or you still feel isolated. Um, and there's less of a connection that happens than than you'd wonder or that you'd sort of think about. And um, I don't know if that's different in terms of, you know, personality characteristics um, or traits that individuals have. I'm assuming that there's differences with that, but there still is a lot... um, it, it it still sort of exists um, regardless of of those particular you know individual traits. So it's just an interesting phenomenon. Um, despite the fact that we're social beings, we're still isolated um, in many situations. And you still go back. And then the reason why I'm pointing this out is that. You know, you can, you go to something like this, um, and there's like a big greeting sort of situation where you meet a lot of different people. But then when you go back to your hotel room, you're still kind of alone. And it's just an interesting situation in terms of what's happening there. So I guess, you know, what can you take away from this? Um, is the bigger sort of thought process. Um, You know, it's one thing to sort of point it out, but it's another thing to think of. What can you take away from this? Um, I think the important thing is um, creating the sort of narrative um, in your own mind that is positive and optimistic and thinking about you know, a brighter future and having that sort of conversation in your own mind about what is, um, you know, positive things. And I think that's, that's like the bigger takeaway is that you sort of make it, you make your situation and your surroundings. Um, you don't necessarily can rely on, on other people. I sort of have learned that. Um, the more times I've gone to, you know, big gatherings like this, um, you know, where you think that you're going to meet up with a lot of people or, 
you know, find somebody that you can hang out with and all that kind of stuff. And it's just, you know, it's just not true. And you end up having to um, be okay with just hanging out by yourself and walking around and looking looking at different things. I think, like, having that um, as your default and being okay with that, not only being okay with that, but being like, hey, th- th- this is actually a really positive thing that you can go do these things. Um, it's taken me, like, a long time to think about that and come around to it that, hey, this is com- not only completely fine, but um, it's fun to be able to do that. It's an opportunity to be able to do these these particular things where you can walk around by yourself. Um, and for me, you know, do this podcast, for example, where I just chat randomly to the world. Um, and, and I think that, yeah, um, it's, it's just a good thing to be able to do that. And I think the more that we sort of focus on, um, you know, what other people can bring to you, the less that you're going to have that sort of positive outlook where you're just comfortable whenever and wherever you are. And I think focusing on that, where you're just simply comfortable with who you are and where you are, and it's an added bonus when other people are there to share that with you, but it's not necessarily, it doesn't preclude you from doing great things, being positive. Um, you know, I think that's a good good position and a good thing to think about. Um, just being comfortable in the moment with looking around. You know, right now I'm, I'm looking at, um, I'm in Seattle, and I'm looking at the, um, you know, bay with the ships coming in and ferries and, um, you know, beautiful sunsets and mountains. Hey, this is, this is pretty cool to do this and if I waited around to hang out with people to do this kind of stuff they would never do it and so knowing that it's an absolute opportunity to spend some time by yourself to think about things to go exploring that's more than enough alright so that's all I wanted to say take care and have a wonderful day